I mean, I mean, 20 years ago, we ran a test when I worked at yeah. an ESP, and we sent notices of unsubscribed confirmations to people that sent FBL messages. It was a very short test. We ran it for like two weeks. And over 10% of them wrote back saying, I didn't unsubscribe, but they had come through the feedback loop. So instead of maybe hitting delete, they hit uh, report spam, and the message disappears from their oh. inbox. Oh. They get a reply. Oh, so there, there is a large number of consumers that will report stuff as spam that they actually want. Yeah, and I think this is I mean, this is a really interesting number um, because you know uh, senders often they care so much about open rates, uh, and but of course they also look at the spam mode rate. And I always say, look, your open rates, your real open rates are probably three times lower than you think they are, and your actual spam mode rates are probably ten times higher than you think they are based on Google Postmaster tools or something like that. Because uh, usually only ten percent of people actually vote spam. The others, they are just mad at you and delete your stuff. Um, and then not everything which is being spam voted is actually spam, right? Uh, roughly 45, 40, 50% of all the spam votes are against emails people actually ask for, or you know, Uncle Joe who sends a stupid joke or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I see like shipping notice, spam. Okay, well, I guess you don't want to track when your package arrives. So uh, we're coming up last minutes here. I just want to go down the line.